My name is Lindsay Lee Hobson and I work with organisations to elevate their emerging leaders and create the ultimate next generation of leadership. But what a lot of people don't know is I also founded the Learning and Development Forum, where driven and passionate L&D professionals come together and exchange trending topics and popular suppliers and innovative ideas for their 2022 calendar. Just like these two beautiful individuals that I'm joined by today, please welcome Eric McManus and Danica Daly from UE Insurance. Welcome, ladies. Hi, Lindsay. Hi. <laughs> so good to have you here today. And what's actually brought us here is because both of you will be speaking at the upcoming L&D Forums conference in the metaverse in a couple of weeks, which is very exciting. Super, super exciting, definitely. And before we get into your topic and what you're going to be speaking about and your area of expertise, tell us a little bit about you both and what it's like to be an Erin and a Danica at UE Insurance. Oh, perfect. Um, Danny, if you don't mind, I'll kick off. Um, so um, Danny and I are learning and development facilitators here at UE Insurance. Um, our roles are um, quite vast. We're um, in, in charge of onboarding all of our new staff in the call centre um, and the support services realms as well. Um, we also um, contribute to our traineeship program where we enable a lot of our staff to get a certificate for um, in business uh, through their employment here at UE which is pretty exciting. Um, I myself, we actually run a, a compassion fatigue program for our claims advisors. Um, we are, you know, working a lot towards the mental health space as well. So contributing in those aspects too. Um, we do all of our systems training, all of our onboarding um, and, and really kind of dive deep into um, all things learning and development, um, upskilling um, our existing advisors, uh, as well as welcoming those new UEAs into the business. Oh, I love that. That's incredible. And that's such a wide scope as well. Danica, yeah. I've spoken to you in the past. You've mentioned about a hybrid uh, session that, or a hybrid facility that you've actually created there at UE and a training system too, which is something we're going to delve into a little bit today because both of you have incredible expertise around how to craft an amazing and successful virtual and hybrid training session. So Danica, tell me a little bit about that. Um, I guess through necessity, um, through that pandemic that we all love continuing to have to talk about, um, we really had to take a lot of what we do into the virtual space so that we could have that business continuity and we could continue to function and you know, bring on board new people and continuously upskill um, other people. So we have very, very recently refitted all of our training rooms with some amazing tech for our hybrid training. But I guess prior to that, before that tech was in place, we had to kind of, I guess, just reimagine what training looked like and what, um, you know, any of our kind of space looked like. And we really had to sort of, and it's something Erin and I sort of talked about, it was a will over skill thing. It wasn't something we knew what to do to start off with. There's been a lot of trial and error, but we really <laughs> had to create what is now, I believe, a really fantastic and phenomenal uh, virtual training experience as well. So it's been a very, very exciting sort of six, seven months Absolutely. And one of the things I love when I speak to you both is your passion uh, for supporting individuals and for this as well. And just like you said, you're like, oh, I, had, I didn't know. I didn't know what I was doing. I just created it. It was a learning yeah. experience for us both. And share with us if you're, if you're both comfortable to a little bit about what you learnt during that time and, and some of the things that you'll be sharing at the conference with this topic. Yeah, um, look, uh, yeah, or Danny, can you go? You go <laughs> for it. Sorry. <laughs> you go. <laughs> Um, I guess it's funny because the, the biggest learnings, we're talking about taking things virtually and we're, it's, we're talking about the technology of what we're doing. But for me, especially, I don't know about me, the biggest learnings are actually about how to keep that personable and how to keep that engaging. And a lot of that actually doesn't come down to the technology. It comes down to how you're training in that virtual environment. So I think that was probably one of the biggest learnings for me is it's not a copy and paste of what you do if you are face to face with someone. You have to kind of reimagine your sessions and you have to add in things that sometimes it might seem like common sense, but they're not in the virtual space and they're really easy to get forgotten about. So that was probably the biggest learning was understanding that that different medium requires a different level of, of facilitation. Yeah. I think for me as well, um, us as facilitators, we're, we're very face-to-face -face people. We're so used to that. And I mean, even me, I was completely against online training because I thought I'm not going to be able to create that same environment in an online space. You know, people without cameras, people are on mute um, and those types of situations. Um, but 
when you when you get to that stage where it's actually forced upon you, um, you really got to get organized and you've got to get into that mindset of, you know, what journey can I take these people on? To Danica's point, it is a different journey, definitely. Um, and, you know, it's not always just about the technology. You've got to have that user's experience in, in the front of your mind. Um, but also you as a facilitator, you've got to get into that mindset of I'm now virtually training, I'm virtually doing a session or I'm doing a hybrid session. What do I have to do to prepare myself as the facilitator to give these people an amazing experience? So it's a huge mindset shift um, and one of which people maybe aren't prepared for, but they need to be prepared. Absolutely. I think that's a really good point because it's a big question that comes up in our forum sessions too about engaging team members remotely and online. And as a facilitator, how do I even do that? Because it's yeah. a new area, realistically. So I'm, yeah. mindset is such a big part of it. So. Yeah, and because it's all new territory as well. So because, again, we've had that luxury of face-to-face. People used to, you know, fly people in for conferences. You know, we used to do the same thing for our short course um, program. We used to fly in presenters and this, and the other. And now we, we do it all online and it actually has such a huge impact because of the way you actually set it up and facilitate that session. So it, it can work phenomenally. That's fantastic. And you mentioned it has a huge impact. So what has it changed for you at UWE? So, oh, I was gonna, so I guess you for go. us at UWE, um, the, the ability to train in the hybrid and the virtual capacity has almost like maximized what we do and it's created so much more opportunity. We now train internationally almost every month because we now train all over Australia um, with our remote staff as well as our staff that are based here in Queensland with us. And we also now train New Zealanders um, for our New Zealand call centre um, across the pond there uh, most months too, which is phenomenal. And even that had challenges at first because yeah. it was something we'd never done before. And, you know, there are things that are a bit different when you're training someone who is in a different country in a different time zone you want to make sure they're having the best experience as well. So that's been amazing. And again, that business continuity, it's not just COVID anymore. We had those massive floods at the start of the year and there was, I think, two days that people couldn't actually come to the office and we had the ability to say, that's okay, we're just going to train you from home for these two days. And we were able to kind of keep the wheels turning, whereas previously that would have brought things to a standstill. It's created so much more flexibility for us as well as a team and as a skill set in learning development so that we can really just cross bridges we've never crossed before because there's so much more opportunity in the virtual space. Yeah. And I think even moving away, even just from that onboarding, because I mean, we do that so well and we do so much of it. Uh, we're about to run a lot of our um, mental health first aid um, advisors through their refresher training. We can, we can actually train more people We can actually um, train. We've got some people who are actually on parental leave at the moment who are going to jump in on the session as well from home. So it is creating that um, that flexibility of, um, of, you know, being able to train multiple people in multiple locations, but really having that impact on people um, to, to give them training that they need that they may not have had access to before. And I feel at the end of the day, that's why we're all doing what we're doing, because we have that opportunity to create a positive impact for individuals all around the world and within our teams too. Yeah, yeah. Feels L and D professionals. It's such a large part of what drives yeah. us, especially during the pandemic. It was such a good way yeah. to get out of bed in the morning. So, yeah, I definitely noticed that amongst all the forum members, there was this drive and this passion to get up and yeah. go out there and do the best that they could do, so that they could yeah. actually create that impact. And so, tell yeah. us a little bit about your experiences in the learning and development forum so far. Oh, I've loved the forum, honestly. Um, from from the first ever forum I went to, just the um, the information sharing that came about, that networking opportunity. Um, and I mean, look, we're here now sharing all of our knowledge. And I think that's the biggest thing for us is that, you know, we can, we can kind of work in our little areas. I mean, we could have just been Danica and Aaron working at your insurance, keeping all of our, you know, knowledge to ourselves. Now we have the opportunity to actually help and grow other people. And that's what the Learning and Development Forum has done for us is that, you know, where I'm now learning more about mentoring um, and all these other amazing topics that come up in the in the um, forum, which is completely amazing. Um, so it's really kind of opened up a lot of information sharing for us as well. We're learning a lot. Absolutely. And one of those topics actually is going to be covered in the conference. So 
Tell us a little bit about um, the com- uh, what you're looking forward to in the conference, I should ask, um, and the fact that it's in the metaverse. Have you guys been in the metaverse before? No, <laughs> we haven't, but we're so excited. It sounds amazing, honestly. Um, Danica, you take it away. What are you, what are you um, looking forward to? I guess I was about to say, I mean, all of the topics I'm so excited about, I'm definitely hoping with how it's running that we can sit in on some of the other speakers as well, because it all just sounds so phenomenal. And again, to Aaron's point, just that knowledge sharing and just that ability to sort of network and everyone does have different perspectives. We all have different journeys. We work for different companies and our day-to-day is different. So there's just so many just amazing golden little points that we're all able to sort of share with each other. But for me, I think the thing I'm actually most excited about is that it is in the metaverse. Mm. It's just to me that that's that next level of new territory, breaking new ground for how things can look in the future. Because again, would this conference have been able to happen? Would Erin and I have even been able to attend if it was in person? Potentially not. So the fact that we have this ability to do it in the metaverse and on this extra new exciting platform to me is just, I can't wait. I'm counting down. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it's going to be absolutely incredible. And I'm so grateful to both of you for contributing and sharing your expertise during that conference because hybrid and training and virtual trainings is a big topic that's coming up for so many L&D professionals in Australia, but also around the world too. So for you to be sharing that, we are so grateful to you. And we're also really grateful to our sponsors, Topia, who are helping us create this world in the metaverse, specifically for the L&D conference. So um, it's going to be a really great thing. So if you are watching this on LinkedIn, make sure you find the link around. You'll be able to register. And if you are a forum member watching this as well, comment below and say hi and share with us what you're looking forward to as well about being at the L&D conference. But Big thank you to Danica and Erin for joining me today and sharing so much value in this interview as well. It's onwards and upwards. Very excited for the conference. Thank you to you both. Perfect. Thanks, Lindsay.